Hello, my name is Joel Lababa and I'm the Franchise King. Today, let's compare franchise disclosure documents. Let's compare FDDs. Uh, no, let's not. Comparing FDDs is a waste of time. But Joel, I'm looking at two handyman franchises and, and handyman franchise number one, the FDD states that the average franchisee does $632,000 a year in revenue. Okay, and? Well, handyman franchise number two does $800,000 in revenue. Obviously, I'm gonna have to look at the $800,000 one, right? I mean, the average franchisee is bringing in $800,000. Heck, I wanna make more than $600,000, like the first one, right? And, you know, so, so that's why I wanna look at it. Okay, here's the deal. First of all, there's no such thing as an average franchisee. That person doesn't exist. It's not a he, it's not a she. It's, it's I don't know, it, it, it's a nothing. It doesn't exist. Why don't you call the franchisor and ask them, where does that average franchisee live? Where um, is his or her location? Um, they don't have an answer because there is no such thing. You need to talk to franchisees face-to-face -face and over the phone. That's where your answers will come from. You know, what are the chances that you're going to do $800,000 in your third year as a franchisee? I'm not sure, but if you expect to do $800,000 because you think that you're like the average franchisee, remember, there's no such thing as an average franchisee because they don't exist. If you think you're going to do $800,000 based on that and you don't, I think you're going to be pretty aggravated, like really aggravated. You know, um, since there's no real average franchisee, how are you can compare your location to the location that's doing $800,000 a year? Are you in a better part of the country than the average franchisee? Wait a second. Again, there's no such thing as an average franchisee because the average franchisee doesn't exist. It's not a person. It's not a thing. It's just, it's just throw it against the wall. Here's the average. Do, do, do you get what I'm saying? Maybe if, it, maybe if I explain it like this. Stop crunching the numbers so much. You know, if, if you run into a franchise opportunity and the franchise earnings claim on the FTD looks fantastic, like, wow, I know I can do $800,000 a year in revenue because I'm good, plus I'm gonna open in St. Louis and that area is, is awesome. Um, you know, your expectations might be unrealistic. There's a lot of what ifs. What if the location you choose isn't any good? What if you can't find good contractors to do handyman services? What if you're not spending the same amount of marketing money as the average franchisee, which doesn't exist? Uh, uh, what if there's a recession? Where does that $800,000 in revenue come in? Exactly. Call franchisees and ask them what kind of revenue they're bringing in. Ask them how they're getting there. Ask them where they're located. What part of the city are they located in? Ask them how they're recruiting handyman if you're looking at a handyman franchise. My point is this, don't compare FDDs. It, it's just not realistic. Compare opportunities. Which opportunity, which franchise is gonna be the best one for you based on a lot of criteria, not just numbers. Because chances are, you're not gonna do those numbers. It's impossible. It's mathematically impossible for you to do what the average franchise is doing in their third year. Because that average franchisee, not only is it not a person, it's not you. It's not you. You're unique. You're different. But if you talk to other franchisees who are working in the business, real people, you should be able to gauge when break even is, how long it took them to, be, to hit break even, and how long it is to profitability. Then ask them how profitable they are. Talk to a lot of them, meet someone in person. That's where you're gonna get the answers. Put that darn FDD away. Read it once, thoroughly, highlight the stuff that you have questions about, talk to franchise headquarters, and talk to your franchise attorney about those things, but get in the game by talking to franchisees. Put the FDD away after you read it one time. Put it away. I'm the franchise team, Joel Lababa. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know. And check my website out, thefranchiseking.com. Thanks for watching.